Hello guys, how are you doing? This is Tech Rita here with another video. We will fix white screen of death in Windows 11. So let's get started. If you are receiving the white screen of death error while trying to boot your machine and the actual Windows login page isn't displayed, the first thing you should try is a force restart. A fresh restart should fix everything if the problems were caused by a specific app or a minor system glitch. In most situations, a force restart or a force reboot can be initiated by pressing and holding the power key for a few seconds. Just keep pressing the power key until the shutdown operation is completed. Afterward, boot your Windows 10 device once again and see if the Windows 10 white screen problem persists. If the white screen of death shows up with a cursor on Windows 10 after restarting your PC, you should remove the peripherals connected via USB. Most likely, a particular external device is a reason for the problem. So foremost, disconnect everything from your computer. Unplug even the keyboard and the mouse. Then force restart your computer and see what happens. If the Windows OS starts normally, start connecting your peripherals one at a time. You can now easily identify if a specific external device isn't running as it should. Press the Windows key plus R to launch the run utility. Type msconfig in the run box and press enter. The system configuration window will now be displayed on your computer. From there, switch to the boot tab. Under boot options, select safe boot. Optional, you can also select network if you want to use your internet connection while running in safe mode. That's it. Reboot your device as it will go straight to safe mode. Press the Windows key plus X and select device manager. Double click the display adapters option to expand it. Right click on each of the drivers there and select update driver. Select the search automatically for drivers option. Wait for the search to complete and install any available update. Press the Windows key plus I to open settings. Select the update and security. Click the check for updates button. Wait for the scan to complete and click the install now button to install the new updates. When done, reboot your computer. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. If so, hit like and subscribe for more content.